Some of the integration challenges for having, if you have a, a hybrid solution, so you have SharePoint on-premise and you also have SharePoint online, are that you're actually sort of still keeping two islands of data. And how do you synchronize content between them? How do you have, a, for example, a unified search experience? So if you search over here, do you want to actually show content back from over here? So there's quite a few challenges like that of how do you overcome them, you know? And the best way I could describe it might be is, it's like having two houses. If you have two houses, you'll have some of your clothes at this house and some of your clothes at this house and um, some of your stuff. And then what happens if you want to easily get between the two? And th th there's, there will be challenges to overcome, such as data synchronization, you know, storing have one or two versions of the documents. What data do you store where? You know, how do users know they should save data here or data over here? So there's a, there's a few challenges to overcome when thinking about having multiple instances. But typically, a hybrid solution is really something where there's a roadmap to move everything to SharePoint Online, you know, or it's for a specific workload to have SharePoint Online. One, one of the challenges that um, our clients often face is how do they move a huge amount of data? They've got gigabytes and gigabytes of data on file servers, and they want to then move this data into SharePoint Online. And one of, one of the primary challenges is first is how do you, you know, sort through that data, work out what's relevant, and upload it. So that's the first challenge is to organize your data and cut down the amount that you need to upload to so make sure you're only uploading the relevant information. The second thing is around bandwidth. You know, to be, be aware that you are, tend to be uploading from your on your premise to into a cloud environment. And most people typically have a faster download speed than they do a faster upload speed. And that can be a challenge. If you are looking to upload a huge amount of data into Office 365 on SharePoint Online, one of the best ways to do it is work with a partner such as Content and & Code. And we will come down to your on-premise here. We'll copy your data onto an external hard drive, and we'll take it to our data center. And we can upload it from our data center to SharePoint Online, because we have a very, very rapid connection directly to the internet, directly into SharePoint Online. So if you're thinking about uploading a lot of data, and you want to do it rapidly over a weekend, so that on Friday, People use the servers on premise, but on Monday they're coming to work and everything's in SharePoint Online. It's often key to think about how you'll get that data physically into the cloud. Typically, a lot of data for customers is uh, gigabytes, but if customers have terabytes of data, what we advise them to do is really sort through their data. Because if you are loading terabytes of data online, there's got to be a specific reason. You're thinking about archiving, you're thinking about actually lots of loading historical data. We wouldn't actually recommend it. Re recommend putting terabytes and terabytes of data on, on, online unless you have a specific valid reason to do it. Most organizations, even large organizations such as BBC, Vodafone, these huge organizations, typically only have you know, gigabytes and gigabytes of data that are current that are within three to six months old, and that's what we'd recommend moving online. To give you some examples of um, our, our clients and the, the, the um, sort of migration times faced, we've done quite a few weekend migrations where we've actually gone in, we've taken the data, and on Friday we've uh, said everyone stop working at five o'clock, and then we've migrated all the way, all the data throughout. You know, we've had a te team of people migrating the data, so by Monday morning, nine o'clock, all the data's there. And we can migrate terabytes of data um, over a weekend. Um, however, some organizations do a much slower migration path, and they might migrate individual users' data one a day, and they might take several months to do it. And it just depends on the type of data you have, how much you have, and what, how much people need to access this data. But typically, it's best to do it over a weekend or a night and have a team of people dedicated to get the data into the cloud.